Hi guys, welcome to Coturnus Corner. So I wanted to take a minute to introduce you guys to a new uh, incubator in the Terry Bader series line. Uh, I've had some requests uh, to do a smaller incubator, something more like a tabletop model. Uh, so what we did was we took the uh, original DIY box or Terry Bader and we cut it down and made a tabletop model out of it. Um, this model stands only 16 inches tall um, it was designed and cut out on my CNC machine, so all the cuts are very exact and accurate, um, and it's very simple to assemble. Uh, basically, uh, you'll take like your rails for the turners, they'll slide right in that groove, and with a little bit of foam glue, you're done. You don't have to screw anything together. You can just uh, use the glue, put it together, set it aside, let it dry, and once it's dry, it is done. Um, like I say, everything was cut out on the CNC, and the way we designed it, we made it so it'll only go together one way, and it's very easy to assemble. Um, it comes with a uh, piece of plexiglass, which is used for the viewing window on the door, <clears throat> which is already cut out for you. It's already got a channel that your plexiglass sits on. So just using a little bit of acrylic uh, caulk, run that around that glass and uh, you're good to go. Um, also, one of the changes that we made to it is the incubator being smaller does not need to run the two elements, the two heating elements and the two fans like the larger incubator does. So what we did was we, we cut that down. You can see on the, uh, the back uh, forced air channel, it's got a little bit smaller opening for the forced air. It's also only got a single fan. And same with the top. The top is a little bit different than the other one. It's got one cutout for a single light bulb receptacle, which we also include that. <clears throat> and, uh, and then it's got two vent holes on the top, but we reduce the vent ventilation on the side of the box down to one hole versus two. <clears throat> and the reason for that is I, I did some testing and the incubator actually holds temperatures and humidity better than the larger box. I mean, the larger box does just fine, but this one, it seems like you get a little bit more cycle time on the lights. They don't come on near as much as they do on the larger box. And the humidity uh, seems to be um, more stable as far as being able to get it up to a certain humidity level and holding it there. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, uh, when we put this thing together, guys, everything is put together uh, like all the side pieces are shrink wrapped. So, you know, they all go together. All the individual rail pieces are taped together. So, you know which ones go where. And like I say, even if you get a little bit confused on it, um, it's no big deal because they are only going to go together one way. Uh, you, you can't assemble the thing wrong. Um, so uh, I just wanted to uh, share that with you. Oh, another thing that um, you can do also on these things is um, you can paint the box. You know, if, if you don't like the, the pink exterior of the foam, you can actually paint the box a different color. Or if you're, you're handy with like uh, laminating, you could buy some, you know, real thin door skin and actually uh, cover the box in a thin door skin, make like a, uh, a wood grain type appearance. Um, all of that is basically uh, cosmetic. It's not going to change how it works. Incubator works just fine as it is. Um, also, one other thing, uh, we include wood strips. Uh, the four wood strips here go around or go um, on each side of the, the door and on each side of the box. This gives you something to, one, it stiffens up the door and the box, but it also gives you something to screw your um, hinges to and your latching hardware on the door. And then we include a couple rails, uh, covers that go on top of your rails. You just glue these down to your top of your rails. That way when you're sliding out your hatching trays or your egg turners, um, they're not gonna damage the foam at all. Uh, as far as egg turners go, uh, that's not included. The stuff that's not included is uh, the egg turner, the hatching tray, the uh, regulator, temperature regulator, um, and the heating element. Everything else is included. Uh, and I'll leave a link down below to where you can purchase that other stuff. I think you're going to 
to get the box up and running, I think you're looking at uh, maybe $25 more. Um, that's going to be for your light bulb and your regulator. Uh, and then if you want to go ahead and purchase a, an egg turner um, with quail rails, you can do that. The egg turner that we use is the Little Giant series. Um, it's a pretty common one that they sell like at Tractor Supply or uh, on Amazon. And I'll leave a link to them down below also. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it guys. It's like I say, it's, it's very easy to assemble, um, and get working and get it dialed in. Dialing in this small box is actually a lot easier than dialing in the larger one. So if you want to take a look at it, um, there's more information over on gulfcoastquail.com. That's also where you can order one if you're interested. And if you have any questions, um, I'm available at, you know, anytime. Uh, my phone number is actually over on the Gulf Coast Quail website. You can either reach out to me, you know, um, through text um, or email. Or if you have to call, you know, because um, you got something a little bit uh, uh, harder that you want to explain, you know, you can give me a call also. So guys, I appreciate you joining me today. Um, I hope you look into this box. I think it's really nice. It, it does a good job and uh, I'm kind of happy with it. So thanks again and we'll see you on the next one.